Greetings, humans. It's Moral Philosophy Day. Not really. We're just talking about love. And to quote the band Hathaway, uh, what is love? Uh, who knows? Who knows, really? Is love an emotion? Well, if you just brace the average person on the street and force them to give you a definition of love, they probably say it's an emotion. A feeling. Uh, you know it by experiencing it. Um, is that true? Well, I'm autistic, and I haven't had the experiences that other people seem to be talking about when they're discussing love. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a skeptic, but I defer to the humans on this. The thing is that even the humans kind of disagree with the idea that love is an emotion. The Greeks would have said it was at least seven different emotions, ranging from agape, love for humanity in the abstract, to uh, uh, eros, the sort of love that you kind of feel with your, with your groinic region, the reproductive sort of feelings humans have for each other sometimes, and uh, other really complicated things. They're not around, but the average American somewhat agrees. We don't map our feelings of love in exactly the same way, but we do know that we have to map them. For example, do you love tacos? Do you love your dog? And do you mean something entirely different when you say you love tacos is when you say you love your dog? Please say yes. Please say yes. Because loving a dog like tacos, or loving tacos like a dog, either of those, would be somewhat frowned upon in American society. Well, let's go even harder. Do you love your children? And do you love your romantic partner? Do you love the person you do sex with? Well, you love them differently, yes? Again, please say yes. Because saying no would cross a number of moral boundaries. Either way you go, it's uh, weird and probably illegal and punishable. So love obviously isn't an emotion. And we clearly need some disambiguation. Someone just says they're experiencing love. You need, to, you need more information to understand what they're trying to say. Okay. Love's not best understood as an emotion, and it might not even be best understood as the several emotions that the Greeks talked about or the modern ways that we would map that. Maybe love is best understood as a category in which other emotions occur. Um, Thanksgiving. It's almost Thanksgiving here in internet land. And... A whole bunch of families are fixing to sit down with some extended family members that they haven't seen except on the internet for maybe even a couple of years, thanks COVID. And anticipating just a lot of really hard conversations with family members, especially your racist Uncle Thomas. Uncle Thomas fell really far down the QAnon rabbit hole. And he's going he's gonna to provoke everyone at the Thanksgiving dinner. He's going to say some racist and misogynist stuff in the name of patriotism and, and tradition. Everyone's going to try and get Tom to shut the fuck up. Uh, here's the thing is you're, you're mad. We're all mad at our racist Uncle Thomas's and uh, Auntie Karen's. We're mad at them because they taught us to be better. You know, they were the, they were the cool family member when we were growing up and uh, they got our parents to lighten up on us and they taught us to love everybody, no matter who, and overlook trivial differences. And it's about being free, man. And they just morphed into these haters that you know, themselves at 30, they wouldn't recognize themselves at 55. And we're mad. We're mad because we love them. Like all across America, 
people have transformed, morphed into these overtly racist humans doing racist things. And like, they poke you on Twitter and you just block them and move on. And you don't seethe over it the way you seethe when it's your family members. Uh, my, my kid got caught cheating in school. This was years and years ago. He was just a little guy. And uh, he had to turn in a bit of work late. He needed my signature on a thing to do that. And um, he faked my signature and he got caught. And uh, I was so angry. I was so angry. Because it's mine. My signature belongs to me. It doesn't belong to you. The thing is, uh, kids, like, forge their parents' signatures every day. All across America, kids are forging their parents' signatures right now. I'm not mad at them. I could give a fuck. Because I don't love them. Right? So when you're happy, you're happy for somebody, and when you're afraid for somebody, and when you're worried about somebody, and when you're mad at somebody, love is the context that makes them important enough to have those emotions about. Okay? So maybe love is best understood as a category in which other emotions occur. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe love is best understood as a verb. I certainly wouldn't be the first one to say so. Love could be best understood as the action. The action of putting the needs of the other ahead of the needs of the self. So imagine, um, imagine a day laborer. The day laborer gets picked up today to stand in for a moving company, and at the end of the day, they get $35, and they'd spend, you know, half the money on uh, keeping the lights on at home. You know, they pay down a bill so that their power doesn't get turned off. And the rest of the money they spend at the only place to get food in their neighborhood, they get a pepperoni pizza at the 7-Eleven. Walk that thing home all steaming, and uh, they love their kids. They love their spouse. They love their children. And so they take that whole pizza home and they set it on the table and watch proudly and hungrily while everyone else eats the pizza. If there's anything left at the end, you know, the kids don't like the crusts. And so you gnaw on the crusts and dip them in wheat coffee because you love them. That day laborer loves their children. Now, if one says, if one professes love for one's family, but you eat the pizza and they go hungry, then what actual good is that? What good is it? In that case, what is love but for a secondhand emotion, to cite Tina Turner? Um... That's nice, says Janet Jackson, but what have you done for me lately? Yeah, love. Where I'm sitting, love is best understood as a verb. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying people have experiences and they tell me about them and I don't really relate to those. Uh, I don't really relate to those experiences. I know I love somebody because when I think about losing them, I feel intense grief. And that's the closest I can really get to that, to that experience. But if you're right, and love is merely an emotion, what good is it? What good is it? What good is it to love America and refuse to get your vaccines? and refuse to cover your face in public, and refuse to pay taxes to help other people. This has been The Black Pill.